Okay, welcome to my Zeku guide. Uh, this is my personal vlog, uh, but I want to share, so I, I'm talking to you uh, as a, if I'm sharing it, which I am <laughs> with you at the time. So this is mainly for me, if I stop playing Street Fighter for a while and come back, I'll um, have a head start with Zeku. So the reason I'm using Bison right now and Rashid is to show you if you're looking for oppression like this, you won't get it from Zeku. Not at all. If, you, if you're looking to spam uh, hard buttons in the neutral to try to get the counter hit, that won't work with Zeku either. Um, so, or abusing moves over and over, that won't work with Zeku. So to play Zeku, you have to play... You have to think ahead a lot. A lot, a lot. With Bison, I just do Instinct now since I've been playing it for a year. Zeku, I've been playing five months. I'm still learning. So this is me learning and sharing what I picked up by myself uh, with you and how I approach Zeku. All right, first of all, the run stop real. Uh, Ken's run stop not real, but you still get hit with it. So Zeku's is faster than Ken's. Um, on paper, I believe. I have to go back and look at the information, but it, I think it's slightly faster than Ken's. So, uh, it's not real. You can still get hit by four frames or three frames. And but if they do a medium, you can do EX into crashing light and blow up their medium. But you have to kind of look at your opponent and see what they like to do uh, after you test them and stop. So after a, a standing hard punch, you can pause for a second and just regular dash in, and you'll dash in right behind their. Uh, normal and you should have the advantage if I'm not mistaken so run stop on hit is real it's plus four so you can do some nasty resets with run stop all right uh, bushing flip or jackal something <laughs> so um, as you can see you can get easily knocked out of flip easily Whatever button you use. Hard punch is probably the best button to use to keep them locks down longer, but you can still be hit out of it. Now, to get around this, you can do either crashing, or you can do you can do a late, I mean, you can do a early uh, flip kick off a of standing hard punch to beat them on. So that was late, early, boom. Early. Cool. If you do EX though, you have to do that late because he floats in the air long. See if I did it early, I get hit or we trade. But if I do it late, cool. guess I don't hit him in the corner. All right, now for basic block strings. Uh, crouch in light punch is a true block stream. You can tick throw from it. But if you delay it slightly, you can beat the three frame. Also, if you do it, he, he pushes back and you can get the counter hit. All right, young Zekus. Um, I'm not going to commentate all of these. You see him. One thing I learned about Zeku uh, is most of his moves push back pretty far. And a lot of people complain about this, but I found out that Zeku is better for counter poking. Alright, when do you use special moves? Alright, Scythe. Uh, think of Scythe as a longer normal. Think of it as Dawson's leg uh, with a slower recovery. Um, you want to get in a pretty good space, use light or medium, never use hard, ne unless, I'm going to show you when you can use hard, um, but you want to use light or medium, and kind of judge your opponent from there. Palm is really good, um, stops a lot of normals, you can use it in neutral also for Chun-Li and Kami. 
or carrying um, lightning. For some reason, you can be hit if you do lightning from, even from that distance. We can't get much damage off of it though. Though you hit medium right there though. So. Alright. I don't know why this worked, but that was plus four. I better get it done now before they patch it. Another good re way to use run stop is to get closer. Just to get closer, you throw people off when you run stop from a far distance. Sometimes you can make you can bait stuff by running and stopping early. Sometimes you can stop and transform also. So um, this is Zeku, old Zeku sweet spot right here. This one you can use hard. I'll go over uh, more of that later. This is the sweet spot. Young Zeku, you want to be close and you want to bait. So Zeku doesn't excel in the neutral, but he's pretty good in it. So um, these are some of the buttons I found that are really good. Standing light kick is really good. Medium punch is deceptive. Um, it's a great counter poke. Medium kick is deceptive too. Got a lot of pushback on it. All right, so sometimes you want to do medium punch and jump back and assess the situation from time to time. Let's go with Young Zeku. See, Young Zeku, these are the buttons I use in neutral. They got good pushback as you can see. So you use that pushback, take advantage of that uh, when you're playing old or young Zeku. So young Zeku, he want to be closer, old want to be in the mid range. I would use young to get the life lead and I would use old Zeku to keep the life lead. So right here, I'm using the spacing to counter poke. I'm learning as I go too. Some I use, certain certain ones that I do not. Y'all bear with me because uh, it said I can't do any more clips, so I gotta do this commentary on the way through. I can't stop it anymore, so I might mess up, but we're gonna keep it rolling. All right, to push back on Young Zeku's. So Young Zeku and Old Zeku, they mostly use. I mostly use them for. Um, counter poke. Um, they're very good at that, especially Ozeku. Young is very good at uh, pseudo pressure and pressure. Yeah, you want to kind of get in the head with Young Zeku um, by doing this counter poking. That'll stop him from hitting buttons after you do things, and you can do more stuff like run stop pressure and everything else. All right, with the spacing right here, it's kind of hard to reach Zeku no matter what you do. Um, some people can, you just gotta test it. Um, here's the setup. Block stream, counter. So old Zeku style is supposed to be based, I, uh, I think it's called Aidido. Um It's a Japanese style, style that's uh, Counter poking with your sword, never using it to strike first. So that's when I started counter poking when I looked up that uh, Zeku. So you know, you have to space a lot with Zeku. It's not all about pressure, pressure, pressure like most characters. You space him and make them um, hurt themselves. Let's use this in a match. Mm. 
Look at his spacing. I should have punished better. <laughs> I didn't. Spacing, so it's hard for her to punish that. To the elbow. We're we'll working on some more spacing after we do this little set. Boom, should punish better. Spacing. Now she's scared. Hit a button. He did it at the wrong time. You need to pay attention. Round two. Point. All right, a little bit more spacing. He's in need this time. See that? That's where you get your big damage from. That didn't reset. I shouldn't have did that. Boom. Now run, stop pressure, spacing. I just did it. He didn't hit a button, so that means I can get more run stop pressure. See, you always want to have that space against Ken. Same thing. See, wait, punish. You out of range. They can't hardly reach you. Oh, the shimmy. I like this. I always buffer. All right, we're punished. Neutral, crouching, medium punch for young Zeku. Gets the job done on a lot of stuff. Active for a lot. If they crouch in the corner, this is a good light kick pushes you out pretty far. You can also use palm and neutral like I was saying. Take out some of the guesswork. You can whiff punish with your super since it's four frames. Boom, caught him right there. Now I'm gonna catch him on the recovery. Boom. Four frame super, don't forget that. Learn your spacing. Learn what moves each type of player like. What moves Akuma like. Akuma like hard punch. So learn that. Kareem, medium kick, hard kick. You can also with punish with slide. Really good against Birdie. Uh, if you're using Young Zeku. See, you only use their hard punches for counter poking, really. Unless you're going to do a block stream into the transformation with old Zeku. It's plus one if you do that. So this is the ideal location for Zeku, old Zeku. So young Zeku want to be close. Old Zeku, this is perfect. You can observe everything from that spot. Remember, that's the sweet spot. If they jump back, you can do two gram or EX gram. This is the perfect spot. This is where you want to do your hard grams from this distance, a little bit further. So you can see, observe everything from here. A back jump. You can catch that before they hit the ground. Also, I think I have him where he can dash forward. Most people dash forward. You can stop him with a button before they hit a button. They have to dash, then hit a button when you're already recovering. Just don't make sure not to use the hard one. Use either medium or light.
Also from here you can see if they jump, DP, right back where you started. You can DP early also, even with a light. And the little, <laughs> the little blade is a catch -em. You're also techie. Since you can transform now, you can get more pressure afterwards. So that's the sweet spot you want for young old Zeku. My bad, young Zeku. Oh, they like to hit lows a lot. Use hard kick. It will hop over lows. You can get a good punish as you just saw. Finally, zoners. Uh, look for the understanding of the matchup of videos later for character uh, matchup specifics. So usually against zoners, um, I use young Zeku. Sometimes I use old Zeku, but most time I use young Zeku. Alright, so boom. If he fighting Gal, when Gal do this, you can Hazanto through that. You can also EX run at the palm. Messing up. Boom. There you go. There you go. Get Ryan. Oh, Zeku, that's pretty. He's pretty good in this area. This is sweet spot once again. Let me fight and go. If you see Gal do that, you can slide on reaction. If you use his V skill and you got young Zeku, you can slide and crush counter. Oh, Zeku can uh, get the, I mean, get the uh, V skill or Sonic Boom. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps. Total Vision. The guy of War. Out.